What's happening YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video on Project T5. So, last episode, or last two or three episodes, have gone insane. It's been absolutely mental. Videos are on 20, 30,000 views, um, subscribers. I started the channel 43 days ago today, and it's gone from zero across the board to, I think last look, it was on 3,800 subscribers. Videos are a few, a couple of them have got seven or 800 views on, and then like I say, I think the one where I'm putting paint on the van, 40,000 views is coming up on, um, and then 20 and 30,000 views on the preparation and the rebuild videos. It is absolutely insane, I can't believe it. People set channels up and after a year or so, they're nowhere near where we are now. I don't know why it's gone so but as fast as it has, but I do really appreciate every single one of you that watches, likes, comments, everything. Thank you so much. Right, enough of that. Let's get on with this episode. So, this episode, we're going to be covering these seats. Lift me out up a bit so you can see me. So in this episode, we're going to be covering these seats with these seat covers. Um, the seats themselves are okay. This one has got a bit of damage to the bolster. Um, but I've been umming and ahhing with this as to whether to replace the seat foam or whether to not replace the seat foam. The seat foam itself is, I think, delivered 75 quid from Germany. It's the only place I can find one, which isn't that bad. It's doable. I think changing it's easy enough. But there are a few bits on the van mechanically that I've had to sort which I didn't think I had to. So instead of replacing the foam, which isn't really needed because it's gonna be covered by the seat cover, I've done the mechanical work that's needed to make the van drive. So I'm not, at the moment, for the most part now, not replacing the foam on the seat. We're gonna get the seat covers on and see how it looks. Um, might look all right, might look horrendous. If it looks horrendous, I'll have to do something with it and change the foam, but for now, I'm not changing the foam on the seat. Um, hopefully it'll be all right. Uh, seat covers then. So these seat covers are Transport HQ um, 2 plus 1. So seat covers for this twin seat and the single seat. Um, these are a new set that are coming out. So the seat covers they've got on their website at the moment, or I believe the sets that they have been selling, are for T5.1 and T6 being that the seats themselves are a very, very slightly different shape to the early to the T5 seat. So the, t the seat covers they have on the website do fit these seats. I put them in the last van and they fit okay. They're just a little baggy in places. These are made for the T5 seats, not the 5.1 or the 6, the T5. Um, and it's the first time I've tried these new ones out. Um, and these are a new color that they're gonna have coming, I think, um, which is quite nice. So. We'll start fitting them. Now, this isn't going to be a complete every step how you fit the seat covers to these seats. Transport HQ have done a brilliant video explaining every step and showing you how to take the seats apart and how to fit the covers on. I'll put a link to their video in the description. Um, I'll also put a link to their website as well in the description. They are, if you've not had anything from them, the products that they do are amazing. The guys are the most helpful people ever as well they know what they're talking about i would highly recommend buying anything from them that you need that they sell um, i have heard there's a few more products in the pipeline that are coming out in the future as well which are pretty exciting so yeah always keep an eye out for them if you don't follow them follow them on instagram as well um, they build some pretty cool rides so yeah i suppose there's nothing left for it dexter's going to come and give me a help let's get these covers on these seats so what comes in the kit We've got the bottom seat cushion cover, the back cover, headrest. Uh, we have got the armrest covers as well, but we don't need those because we've not got armrests. We've got the base cover for the passenger seat, the back cover, and then two headrests as well. Pack of cable ties, two seats, clear blue skies. Let's transform some seats.
Halfway through the front seat for the driver's seat. Turns out I need a few more tools to do it than I thought. So what I've done it, we've removed. Where is the bed? Where the bed? Where the bed? So what I've removed, the uh, adjuster for the tilt on the back of the seat, the adjuster for I think it's lumbar support, the height to take the seat up and down, both the side trims, the back trim which we have to take off anyway. And then under the seat, you've got these rails running here, just here, here. There's a hole there, oh, where is it, that one. And there's a hole on that one as well, which are these bolts, which are M10 splines, which then means you can unscrew and take off the whole of the seat base. And doing this is hopefully gonna make us get a bit of a better finish. I can pull everything tight around it and hopefully it'll look a much better. So let's continue.
Look at that, the seat's covered. Hell of a lot better looking than they were before. I have managed to get a bit of dirt on them, but I need to get them clean. But yeah, all the way around, looking much better than they did. Actually worked quite in my favour. Doing them in the heat, it must be, I don't know, is it 26, 27 degrees today? It's bloody hot and there's no wind, well, there's a minimal wind. Um, but it's actually worked in my favour because it's made the, uh, the covers a bit more pliable. If it's cold, like I did the last ones in the middle of the winter, they're a nightmare. There was no stretch, there was no give, but doing them in the heat made it much easier to get them on. But they look much better. Let's give the cab a clean and let's chuck the seats in. So, might be too hot, but seats are in, looking mega. Not sure how much you're going to be able to see on this, but there they are. There they are, sorry. In these creases will drop out over time, um, as will these creases, but I think you'll agree they look a hell of a lot better than the original seats. I'm sure what you'll see in the back because of the lighting, but yeah, all the back's done as well, looking nice. In an ideal world, you want black plastics and things, but it isn't a necessity. So that's there. And then, and then around this side as well. I think they look, with the carpeted headliner and everything, still need to put this trim on, um, but we'll get to that. I think they look mega. We've even managed, as I said at the beginning, there was this damage on this seat. Now, yes, it sits down and it drops a bit, but naturally, if you didn't know that was there, you wouldn't know. Um, and I'm assuming someone that's going to buy this van will have watched the videos and known what's going on because the amount of interest I've had in it. Um, but I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll explain that to the buyer as well. Um, does the job. I don't think it's the end of the world. So as I said, they are from Transport HQ. Um, I'll put a link in the description to um, their website and have a look. These exact seat covers I don't think are on their website at the moment. Um, but I'll put a link in the description so you can have a look. Just a short video today then guys. Um, I've got a big stack of mechanical goodies to bit at some point this week. And we'll leave this one here today guys. As ever and as I said at the start of the video, thank you all so so much for watching commenting interacting following on instagram and getting involved on there as well um, it is really really appreciated this channel when i posted the first video 40 odd days ago i never in my wildest dreams expected to hit i'm on nearly 4,000 subscribers already after 40 days it's crazy i'd have been happy to get to a thousand i was happy to get to a thousand something's gained traction and it's just it's 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 blown up in for me, it's blown up, maybe not in YouTube terms. Some of the channels, obviously, a lot of channels will grow faster than this, but in, for me, this is absolutely massive. Thank you all so, so much. Um, I do really appreciate it. If you are new to the channel, and this is the first video of this channel that you're seeing, click here for a link to episode one of this van build series. And if you like what we're doing, click here to subscribe to the channel. Thank you ever so much. I know I keep saying it, but thank you so much for making the channel what it is. Hopefully, in the next episode will be a bit longer um, and we'll be doing some more fun stuff. Until next time, guys, enjoy.